Uh, hello, this is David Birch at Star Pass School of Navigation with a short video on the process of checking the integrity of a file. This is uh, rather questionably navigation, but we have a note in the blog post about why we are doing this and why we want to share uh, this technique. And I'll put the address of that uh, in, the, uh, in the description of the video. So here, for example, is the uh, graphics, a public graphics program called GIMP that you can download, a very powerful one, is similar to Adobe Photoshop. And then if we go to the downloads for that, they tell us something very interesting down here. Namely, they're telling us the MD5 hash sum. And that is a value that we can copy. So I'm just going to right click. I'm going to copy that. OK, so that means that if I download this file and I get it, then I should have that file should match that number when I get it downloaded. So if I happen to someone down, if you download this from another place, you don't know that you've got the exact right file that the authors meant you to have, meant for you to have. So then you can then get this program. Here's the MD5, and then you just go in here. Here's the original one. Let's see, file MD5 original one. Uh, control V so that's there now I just and you see here's the one I downloaded and put it here so I'm just going to go over here and browse and go to that GIMP file say OK and now it checks it and it calculated what it showed up as and then I hit verify and yes indeed it matches so that's a technique that you could use uh, this applies, you could do this with any file. For example, if I did browse and say, here is something called CClear2, open. And that tells me what the value, oops, verify that, it's not going to work, not matched. But anyway, that's the way it works.